Gadies and gentlemen, guys and girls, intersectional and intersexual variations of the species known as Homo sapiens sapien. Welcome to the Fault Chronicles. I am Captain Harambe Humongous Peppy Privilege the Third Esquire, and with me through no choice of their own. I can never say choice of their own. Choice of their own. Choice of their own. Choice of dark side. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Right. I'm here. Energy, 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 oh, energy. Drop the crack pipe. I've told you before. <laughs> Grandmaster Tech. That is low energy bullshit. I have energy, motherfucker. I'm here with the, I'm bringing the energy. energy. Are you going to... Uh, all the energy at once. You are true. pow. Are you going to start crushing like that Like an energy? absolute savage. No, no. Crush that energy. Jesus. Go for it. <laughs> Smoke a joint or something, okay? Good lord. I was wondering why there was dribble all over the place this morning. Now I know why. <laughs> Narrow casting to you live to hollow tape, Gary's and Letterman. We are uh, scanning your primitive planet for any curable signs of culture. And for some reason, this week we have come across the Brony epidemic. You guys heard about this? Ah. Brony, yeah, yeah. I the Bronies. Bromies. Everyone knows what I'm Bronies. down with the Bromies. Well, no. It's not bromie. <laughs> They're not bromies. That sounds a little too close to blow me. Brony. As in a brony. 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 Pony. Brony. 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 Is that like a country? Like no. The king of Brony. My little, it's, my, it's my little pony. But you're a bro. Yeah. Yeah, I know about them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not exactly them. I, I have my own opinions and I will probably discuss shortly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we should watch first. Pretty sure I heard the theme tune coming out here. I've seen that little pony you've got kicking about. I can play mm -hmm. it on the guitar. Mm -hmm. Go away. Alrighty then. <laughs> <laughs> with that all being said, and without further ado, as I believe is the custom on your planet to say, before we get fired straight into this. On screen. Hey there, you absolute dinks. Thanks for that, Falk. So, bro and pony. It was a brony. One fateful day, the younger unicorn refused to lower the moon to make way for the dawn. The elder sister tried to reason with her. But <laughs> and we have the classic reaction video. I don't think it is, though. I think he's a fan. Wow, oh, see. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, discuss some... Internals in a moment. <laughs> what was that? Of harmony. Yeah. <laughs> what is the storyline of this? I'll let you know in a moment. I'm so happy now. Nah. Okay. Okay. Pause there. Pause there. Right. No. To let you guys in here, since... Dark side, you got the quarantine <laughs> button there, really. I wasn't aware we had a, a bronius life formius. If you uh, understand this, umpus, my implementus. No, see, I've watched the, I've watched the entire show. Quarantine's right. gay, buttons A, <laughs> on the ready's right. gay. So I've watched the entire show. Dark side. Now, the good points to it is, yeah, it's got good writing, it's got decent mm. casting... <laughs> this is a quarantine procedure. Apparently so, apart from the fact that quarantine, quarantine procedure is more like audio war. Damn. Yeah, we, we've been debronized. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, that's we're, fine. We're, right. we're, we're good. Okay, so. Sorry, continue. Yeah, tech. It, it's Please good. Continue. It has actually got decent writing for the whole thing. Uh, it's got decent casting. It's got good animation. You know, and everything just does kind of fit. It's a nice little show. But. <laughs> My only butt here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was far too tempting. <laughs> it was too tempting. Please continue. Yeah. But my only problem with it is the fact that, like anybody else that watches any show, that gets really, really enthusiastic about it. <laughs> Fanatical about it. Basically, you end yeah. up like this. Th this is the extreme. <laughs> this crack addict. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the show for what it is, but this is taking it 
you know, yeah. a little it's too funny far. and, and kind of self deprivating yeah. me, mate, that you, you, you'd be like, oh, yeah, brony, but to, to actually be hardcore brony and know what that's all about. Yeah, it's maybe, maybe taking it, yeah, it's maybe taking it a little too far. It's like, you, these guys, like a couple of them, it, it becomes it's an like, enveloping um, thing. It's there's like, a, there's a guilty pleasure and then there's brony. There's a, there's a, there's a big <laughs> difference. Like. <laughs> Well, there's subsects, though. There's plenty of subsects. There's those who watch it. There's those who obsess about it. And then we get into the whole furry, kind of X-rated side of it. But we're not... We're, yeah, we're we ain't not, going anywhere going, near yeah, that. Yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I decided not. Hilariously odd to convert somebody to bronyism. One of my friends told me about it. Uh, he said, hey, it's a good show. You're going to join the herd one day, so you might as well start See, now. See, oh my god, that's the shit that I'm talking about. As soon as you watch the first episode, it's a two-parter. So that's really an evil little hook that they drag you in with. You say to somebody who's, who's like hating on the show, and they haven't even seen it, just watch the first episode and you'll see. You made me watch the first episode. <laughs> made you. And then I had to know what happened in the second episode. Oh, of course. And yeah. it's impossible just been not to watch one. the second episode because it just leaves Held this massive cliffhanger. With the and epidemic even if they hate the show, <laughs> you can't just leave with a cliffhanger. It's agonizing. <laughs> I think I, that's I, I think I could leave. I think I that's could the leave culture you're living in, though. Is yeah. that it is more hardcore to be left on a cliff tiger, like, even if it is something that's just a cartoon and daft. Thing. I can do that though. I'm quite, I'm quite capable of doing that, especially when. Well, apparently, as Tech is telling us, the writing is good. The watching. writing's better. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not judge it before we go there. We might be missing a golden avenue here, Darkseid. Nah. Brony commentaries. Okay, I'm sure I'm there's okay, not yeah, tons yeah, of those. I admit, I'm, I admit okay. it might be wrong. But mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, we'll see. So, so we'll see We'll see what's up with the... Tim will tell. Well, let's take a little look at the Brony Con. 2013 at the Baltimore this, Convention uh, Center. We're going to get inside. Smug get motherfucker here. Boots, thinks he's just going to shoot some fish in some the barrel. Some speakers. And this dude's camel toe. Do these look like any guys that have girlfriends? Actually, would you believe yes? They no, are also no, bronies. Did you just assume their sexual preferences? That's it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's time to join this dance are they looking party. for girlfriends or are they looking for four legged? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, I cut the volume off that. Yeah. So, basically, like. Like you said, privilege. There are different levels on it. Of it, there are people that appreciate it for what it is. There are people that religiously watch it. There are people that will buy all the merchandise. There are the people that will go to the conventions. And there are the people that will do all of the above plus a little further. Wow. And then there's this guy. Like, like but like, <laughs> just just like you're saying though, there's different levels to reality. Yeah, exactly. And and how much you want to engage with reality. And a lot of people like this guy. They won't engage with any kind of reality that anybody else well, can, can engage with. to say with. what is reality, way. Dark Side? I mean, at the end of the day, art is subjective. Reality is... is reality, form of reality, reality when escapism. It comes down, reality is escapism. Re- reality, when it comes down to it, is what the majority of people accept as reality. All oh, right, but okay. I've got, que- I've got <laughs> no, questions. No, no, but that's true, right? That's true. And and it depends on how much you want to marginalise yourself. To what, to what extent that you're not willing to engage with other human beings are you, are you like this blaming? guy. Are you victim-blaming this, this, this outsider this, of society? Are you victim-shaming him for no, being ostracised from society? I'm, no, I'm not saying anything derogatory. For watching derogatory. My Little Pony. I'm not saying anything derogatory Of all the evil this things guy. this boy could do. No, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just laying out reality. I'm just laying out the levels of reality and how people engage with reality. I'm going to get a little well, counter on the screen the about how many times you said reality in the past <laughs> 10 seconds. Well, I've got a question. I've got a question. This, this guy cannot walk down to the shops and go and buy shit in the shops looking like that. Actually, he can. In America, it's quite accepted. In Have you seen places. Wall Martians? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen yeah. what yeah. I doubt it. I, I really... D- you Depends say that, but I really doubt it. Depends what Without it. getting mocked several no. times, this guy well, cannot walk down to the shops and buy shit. Well, and got, that's because he's not engaging in reality in the same way that other people well, are. Well, I've got a question for you. And it's it's sad. I've got a question for you. I feel sorry you, for right? him. What makes this 
I feel less... sorry they can't do Why? that. He's perfectly I, I, happy. I, no, He's I'd, perfectly I'd, happy. I'd, I'd like there to be a world where he could do that, but I just don't accept that there is a world currently where a guy can do that. It's called Japan. He can. It's called BronyCon. Yeah, it's called BronyCon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just don't ask about yeah. DragonCon, all right? It's called Online <laughs> World. Okay. Um, but I, <laughs> okay. <laughs> called Digital Reality of the, the 21st Century. Yeah. So I've got a question for you. What makes this less acceptable than the mass culture of anime cosplay? Exactly. It's just another... It's pattern. another version it's another of cosplay. cosplay. It's another culture. Don't get me another wrong. Cult. It's... No, the, the, the strange... Nah, there's a different level. When you're talking about a girl's kids TV show... No, see, this is and the... there's adult males dressing up as characters out of that children's girls TV show. Oh, come on. How many males that were dressed up as the telly I'm hobbies? not saying this, but, but society <laughs> looks down on that in a in a derogatory sense. I'm not, I'm not going to disagree. And looks at that. these these adult males as n- subnormal. Well, that's it. I'm right? I'm definitely not going to disagree. They have with some that kind one. of mental health issue, pretty much. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with that one. Dark side speaking for the people there, Dark folks. Speaking for the people. If you agree, yeah. out of the comments. <laughs> Hashtag Darkseid is a brony hater. <laughs> Hashtag Darkseid says I'm not a brony hater. I'm not. I'm not. Darkseid victim shames. <laughs> victim shames. Victim shames. <laughs> I'm not a hater. <laughs> You're not a fucking I'm not hater. a hate monger. You're the saltiest creature I've ever met. <laughs> I'm not life. a brony hate monger. Salty sea dog. You have an agenda, <laughs> you have an agenda sir, monger. and it shall be exposed. But... If somebody wants to be the, you know, the, the, they can come to me. So anyway, continue <laughs> on the yeah, show. So make sure this volume's back up, Tech. Let's crack on with this. Yeah, one. go for it. Show you Let's see what you're to say. Tell me what I'm showing you. First one. Gandalf. Yes. Megatron. That's a vagina. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> point, point made. Point. Oh made. come on, man! Okay, come on, hold okay. on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <Blind sage. laughs> Exactly. Not exactly. Fair, but. Come on, not any- very fair because he's never seen one. This is what Josh Spiegel used. Yeah, anybody is going to pause when they see a vagina. <laughs> right, so he's telling him now. He's no, he's, him he's obviously been damages. preempted by this guy saying, say what you see. Mm. Okay, right? Yeah. Are you okay with that? Go show uh, you some x rated damage. No, no, not, not for Bernie. Not a problem. Done. Done. Okay. Done. Oh, it's a big bush. <laughs> I'm a little bit like, is this guy just trying to shoot yeah, fish in the barrel? Yeah, this guy's here to troll guy. them all, isn't he? Yeah, Such yeah. An awesome troll. Just talk to Scott. Not even here. Oh, we need to we need to do that. Ignore Justin. Ignore Justin. Just 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 but you could uh, take your time out to chat up some really chicks. Yeah. He's been working on this sword all month long. He's like, don't interrupt me. God. Yeah. See, no. Like I say, there are extents that you take. This stuff I, too, love you know? how, I love how sarcastically they're oh, trolling him. That's, that's fucking legend. How did you find this? <laughs> These guys are legends. I had no idea he was a brony. What's up, Paul? <laughs> What's up, Paul? <laughs> I love seeing everybody. It's like smelling her pit or something. That's that's actually class <laughs> as sexual assault. <laughs> Nearly he's sniffing her hair. You know what I mean? It's so, a sexual assault. Uh, it's uh, touching her. Hey, in America, not. that's sexual assault. No, it's not. You have to touch somebody. So it's seeping. Assault. This epidemic is starting to seep into modern culture. Yeah. A, a few folk maybe noticed mm-hmm. in the new film, The Suicide Squad, lately, old ish now film, um, Suicide Squad. The last other year. one, Deadpool, where Deadpool's masturbating to a unicorn. Yeah, toy. yeah, that too. That too. Yeah. You know? This one's a little. Oh, little you spoiled that. Captain Kangaroo. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. After seeing the movie and the trailer, we can say that Captain Boomerang is a brownie. But the question is, what kind of brownie he is? Well, in this trailer, tell us that he's... <laughs> what? What are we watching? This is a snippet from the Suicide Squad. And this yeah. is Captain Boomerang. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and this is his stats. So, a.k.a. his real name's Digger Hartness. He's got 98 counts of burglary. And his fetish is pink unicorns. All right. Because, yeah... <laughs> Pink unicorns appear everywhere. Fetish are the pink unicorns, and according with the Median Westcore Dictionary, a fetish is a need or desire for an object, body for part, reason, or activity for sexual excitement. Definition for you, but uh, this means that he is a clooper, and a clooper a is clooper? someone who <laughs> watches NLP porn. 
Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Our bronies must be a cloopers. <laughs> a clooper. Yeah, if you want a translation to the word oh, clopping. Hold on, hold on, I missed out. What was the definition? Because I was recorrecting. Wait, 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 right, right. Hold on. The definition of which part? All bronies must be cloppers. Someone who. Do you really my want a definition? Someone who watches my little pony. Oh right. Oh shit. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Exactly. You know, you get the definition of the word clopper. Oops. Hashtag creep. Hashtag men. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm. <laughs> All bronies must be cloppers. So yeah, uh, it's actually. Even I never even knew that we can see My Little Captain Pony Warren porn existed. <sighs> Man, yeah. it, no matter what there is on the planet, porn exists. Of it. Have you never heard that. the rule? Come on. So yeah, but not to a mass audience. Come on, there's probably toaster porn out there or something, you know? Oh, shit, I've said that, therefore somebody will create it. This has even landed as far as on the stage. Yeah. Sabaton concert. A thrash metal band from Sweden. Yeah. Seriously? My Little Pony? (laughs) On a Sabaton concert? I pay the fool. You guys are fucking crazy. (laughs) (laughs) Not even once, Tim. Said it. Not even just once. Twice. But it's starting to become a theme, you know? Oh, it became a theme already. Oh, yeah. He's probably yeah. collecting them now. Got a collection there, yeah. Just you know, two, I mean, that's a collection. That shows how much you're judging. No, but not, not only that. If he was to sign that, he could probably sell it for a mint, you know. People who are even into metal, you know, can, can, can be near bronies. It's from all walks of life now. This epidemic has spread so far in a culture. You don't think there's anything creepy <laughs> about grown men I've never said anything being into a, a, I've never into, seen the show a have you seen the show it could be awesome a children's mm. female cartoon <laughs> it's the new versions ah but you're gender it's stereotyping re-written. there yeah exactly. because borderline exactly. pedophilic borderline oh, pedophilic yes I said it it, it. it is it. it is though it's borderline pedophilic how how is how is jacking off to cartoon horses anything like paedophilia? Because it's a it's a children's female cartoon show. So it wasn't specifically designed for females. It wasn't <laughs> specifically yeah. just so, all the so characters. So if you jacked are female, off over a Barbie, not all the characters are female. If you jacked off this over a, female, a Barbie, it's, based, you're a it's a cartoon based on a female's child toy. No, that's 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 a false cover. Like there's no no, that's that's not right. That's no. Nah. <laughs> Well, and so, and unless you're starting it. to get into transgender children and no, uh, mm. what no the uh, the, <laughs> the original the, ori- the, argument? <laughs> the original show was based at fe- based towards females, but yes. the new show was based towards all genders. There you go. Uh, See, you're but, so no, much. I'll argue, argue with that. But argue with that. That I think My Little Pony has always been oriented towards girls. And have you seen the new shows? Neither have I. That's all I'm saying. No, the, it, ha, it does have a point. It is still quite predominantly a female-based show. The other question here is, because of the writing, right, the original My Little Pony series was the background of the thing was trying to spread the whole peace and love thing, right? And it was really, really damn cheesy. The new one is actually pretty well written, and it's trying to kind of spread that in another way but I'm still thinking there's still a bit of messages it doesn't matter how good the writing is when there's men getting into a well, children's female TV cartoon show and then making porn out of it and jacking off to that that's creepy man on that anime. note of uh, anime on that note of the love <laughs> and and light for it thank you we have uh, the Park phenomenon Fry. that happened I don't know after or before but they decided to remix Sabaton songs with Oh no! My Little Pony. Like how many teen? How many teen? How many ch- child males watch this show? Seriously? A lot. I Believe doubt it. it. I really doubt it. Believe it or not, a lot. Well, you've got the statistics. You need to get those statistics. If you, if you're, ba- if, you, if you're such a salty well, Where's hater. your citation? Dark side. You know, you're you so can't just say shit like that. This isn't like a. 
This isn't, you know, this could be a, an alien organism. This could be the next evolution here. Never mind. Three parent and kids, okay? When did they Maybe stop humanity's destiny is to, to, to finally mate with unicorns and become a hybrid species. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It used to be My Little Pony. When did they start becoming unicorns? Uh, My Little Pony has always been a mix between three different types. Mythical, mythical yeah. creatures, yeah. Some of them had wings and shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so we're gonna have to mute <laughs> that a little bit more. Oh, this is creepy, man. Oh, so it's about the fucking tunes, though, man. Hit the tunes up on this. Like. Yeah, here you go. Here's an analysis conducted on the subculture. Age groups, less than 20 years old, 53%. 20 to 30 years old, 41%. Over 30, 6%. Gender, male, 87%. Female, 13%. Whoa, 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 I don't understand the context of your percentage. Say that again. Okay, so basically, here's the age groups, right? Yeah. The age groups are less than 20, it's 53% viewers. 20 to 30, 41%, and over 30, 6%. Right? Of the genders of those age groups, 87% are male, 13% are female. 87% uh -huh. of male. My Little Pony viewers. Are male. <laughs> yeah. Now here's the really? other thing. Here's the, <laughs> really. Here's the other Wait, thing. Not a school made for little whoa, girls. Whoa, is it? No. Nah, is it dancing? Hold on. I don't believe that. Hold on. I don't believe that. Here's for the other second. thing. Within the education system. Eighty. Right. Eighty-seven percent. High schools nineteen percent. Completed high schools fifteen percent. Post grad five percent. College forty-three percent. And completed college fifteen. But here's the <laughs> sexual orientation. Unanswered, 2%. Undecided, 3%. 2% is homosexual. 9% is asexual. 12% is bisexual. And 70% is hetero. Bullshit. Bull bullshit. Like, the Day majority of the viewers Not of this show zero are, are, like, male it was the college others. guys that are heterosexual. I, no, I, I, I totally refute that. I refuse to believe that. That is utter bullshit. You can b refuse to believe the evidence... Right in front of your face, dark side. <laughs> That's is that what you're utter bullshit. Is that what you're saying? No. As Captain These Privilege, guys are not I deem these figures even, even if that's true, even if it, the majority of the audience is male and they're college age, they're not heterosexual. Or if they are, they're fucking living in a fucking closet, by the way. Well, think about it this way, right? <laughs> think about it this because way. Because of haters they're like you. They're writing down heterosexual, but really inside like, they on. know the closet truth. Hold on. Clopophobics like yeah, you, yeah, but dark side. <laughs> hold on. You're <laughs> fucking But Yeah, but that's it. Think about it this way, though. Think about it this way. This might twist your brain a little bit. If they're not heterosexual, if they are clopping, as put it, why are they clopping to female ponies? Ah, <sighs> it's bestiality. There we go. There yeah, we go. yeah, yeah. That's, that's, no, yeah, that's, I'm, that's I'm, another level. Yeah, that's another level. But you know, it's it's they they didn't have that the option in the sexuality tier of the questionnaire, did they? <laughs> no, they did no. not. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but so that—that's the question you've got to pose. I mean, it is a very poignant question that you put up. Why are middle-aged men into? Not mid they're not middle-aged. Well, they're in their twenties. Yeah, twenties and above, College really. Age. Yeah, uh, really, so heavily into. A mostly female oriented according to statistics child show which is probably you know what 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 was the the base of that college that was uh, the ba the base of that was taken of from 200 people 200 people no that was taken off of reddit from the subculture wow holy shit yeah so basically the, the other point to it is though all oh. I want all I want to point out is anime Besides the whole bestiality thing, I'm just pointing out anime. Look at Japan. <laughs> anime brought out a massive subculture of anime files, I guess you could call them. And it was pretty much the same thing. Bestiality files. <laughs> I think the term is zoo files. The bestiality chronicles. Play a little bit more, whatever this is. <sighs> well, this is uh, another Sabaton video. Just get the first little bit of the audio yeah, until yeah, the hook yeah. comes in and they can drop it. But we'll give them one more chance, Darkseid. Okay? 
we'll give them one more chance. Maybe with a metal background. I think it's the metal think, testosterone of manhood inside you. I think this has been the most you. triggered Dark Side has been in a Just long time. Can, can you do some research hater. on uh, when the film comes out? Oh God, the film comes out this year. Yeah. Yeah. What? Into the motherland, the German army march. <laughs> Crystal Empire. <laughs> right, okay. Into the motherland? Ah, uh, yeah, you were going to cut that audio. Like, yeah. What the frack? So, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, what is this? This is like. Uh, this is one is of this the... My Little Pony? Yeah, this is My Little Pony. This is My Little Pony? Yeah. My, my Little Nazi Pony. What the frack is going on? Well, it's been recut for a piss take on, on, but on the Sabaton actually video. actually from the show. Because Sabaton sing about historical battles and stuff. But yeah, but it's actually whoa, from the show. Whoa, what is this? This is some KKK shit. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. This is cool. What is that? This is some fascist. See what I mean? This is fascist not... Fascist pony shit. Th- if you try and take this new one from the original, you're not going to see the same thing. <laughs> By no That's bloody that. means. What the hell is going on? Yeah. So yeah. So for for me, when when the My Little Pony movie drops, there's gonna. What be... do you mean when the My Little Pony movie drops? There's been three. What <laughs> released in the cinemas? There's been three. Yeah. Wh- wh- when? <laughs> uh, d- d- do you have any uh, copies? Hold on, hold on. Dark side? No, I, uh, I don't. Oh. Then why is there why is there being such a big thing about the movie that's coming out later this year? <clears throat> right, hold on. Yeah, because there is an actual properly fully done yeah. My Little Pony movie yeah. coming out, this and that's year. my point, right? When the when this finally fully done movie comes out, right, and it's released theatrically, there's going to be a big problem for parents to contend with, which is should they take their daughter along to see a film that the majority of the audience is middle-aged men and, well, uh, and, and you know, yeah, are, they, go, are they going to feel safe taking their daughter along that them? is that is actually a very good question you because, know, because that would creep me out you know if I had the daughter and I was uh, and they wanted to go and see the, the the My Little Pony film but there's all these fucking bromies dressed up like fucking now, well just a clop of um, just a yeah, clop all, all, the, all these no, listen, if you were dressed up like dre- 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 dressed up like BDSM <laughs> Look, are you trying to tell me this is not cool? BDSM unicorns. Then I would be cool. a little bit worried. Look at that. Hold on, hold on. I would be a little bit concerned cool? for the no. safety of my daughter. Okay, dark, dark side. This. Dark side. Right. Look there, at that. There is one thing that I'm going to agree with you on. Right. Besides the arguments that you put, the for sexuality, the, sexualizing a child's cartoon. Besides, is really dodgy. Besides the arguments, especially when it's theatrically released. Yeah, yeah but and you're taking your kids along. With that, but besides right? the arguments that you've put based on this one, right. This is the one you should really be concerned with. What? This is the humanised version of My Little Pony called The Quest for Girls. Oh. This is when the My Little Pony went into the other universe, which was the human universe. And became... So basically became humanised ponies, anthropomorphised. So, yeah. So there you go. Um, So that, that, that... Legitimizes middle-aged men lusting over fourteen-year-old um, semi uh, why, why po- semi po- semi pony like female characters. Why you're just assuming they're fourteen years old. Some of these are mythical ponies. It could have been like a hundred years old. No, okay, yeah. you can believe that if that's if that makes you happy, <laughs> <laughs> right? If that makes you content, then it made me happy. It makes plenty of you know well, cloppers happy out there. Put it it makes way. sense but that, what, that, that this is a te- their... this is a, a kid show for fourteen year old and below. You are kink female shaming. human. <laughs> now you're kink children. shaming. You're victim shaming. Then you're kink shaming. What is oh, uh, wow. you're so intolerant, dark side? Okay, you know what? What does it matter to you if a bunch of grown men? Want to just you know think about you know the re some ass about, you know I'm worrying about the, getting the, some ass I'm, I'm worrying about the, these uh, get that fourteen year old ass but yeah I'm, 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 I'm worried about the, the, the these middle aged guys uh, interaction with 
um, fa- like, fans. Listen, they're fe- not dressed fe- up in a My Little fans. Pony costume, asking them to stroke their fucking My Little <laughs> yeah. Pony <laughs> crystal my or whatever. Stroke my unicorn or something. My mane. That's fucking dodgy, yeah. man. No, they're like, not. So oh, don't worry about it. Oh. Yeah. I think we need to go along to the next uh, Bromie convention that we can find. Yeah, you can go and, yourself. Uh, that sounds like a closet yeah. and, and yeah. explanation to yeah. ask to go, doesn't it? Do, yeah, don't that it totally. Yeah, uh, yeah, what, yeah. just to do what the guys did in that <laughs> documentary and the troll the fuck out of these guys? Too much these, these tech guys is all need, I'm saying. These guys need trolled the fuck out. They do. These they guys need, need trolled. Yeah, these they're guys not trolled need, enough. These guys need these called guys are out not trolled for what they are, which is closet paedophiles. That's Salacious. Damn, man. <laughs> We're going to get fucking shot out of the orbit. I mean, holy crap. And, and just, yeah. Well, Let's call it I apologise on behalf of the Fox Chronicles <laughs> to all the cloppers and bronies out there. Uh, the views of Dr. Darkseid, of course, do not represent that of the entire staff fleet. Uh, we will probably hear back from the home planet Privilopia about some severe <laughs> loss <measures>. of viewers. <laughs> he has guess. been demoted uh, without suspended without pay for a couple of weeks. <laughs> demoted to number three, and he will be scrubbing so, the hollow decks and trimming the cactus, shaving the cactus. So, in the next couple of weeks. Well, yeah, <laughs> trimming the. Cactus. So, what have we learned for this, folks? Well, I've yeah, I've got plenty more. <laughs> oh, do you want the list? <sighs> do you really want the list? Oh my god. Okay, no, like every like every subculture in the world, no matter what the hell the fan base is, there is always those that are on the dark side, dark side. <laughs> <laughs> there are always those that you'll find in the subculture that take things I'm not going to say a little too far, but a really really a bridge way too far. But there are also the ones that whilst pre- seeming a little creepy are actually normal human beings when they're outside of that. I've seen plenty of businessmen that deal with, you know, multi-million dollar companies dress up like ponies at the weekend for a con or something like that. And But they're normal people outside of that. So I can't disagree that there are some really dodgy things within the culture, but at the same time, you know, it's not, most of them aren't really hurting anybody. I think and, and, no, in the, in the same way, I think there are. In reflection to that, I think there are some normal uh, bromies out you, there. But you, I think you the, the vast squeaking ma- of think, that back pedal there. I think the vast that majority you, the of them slow squeaking the I think, pedals. I think the vast majority of them need to check themselves before they wreck themselves. You know what it is? I think the vast majority of them. You know what I think it is? I think the vast majority of them are actually searching for something that we don't have in society anymore, which is not just like belonging to a society, but belonging to a society that actually fucking cares about each other. That's it. I think that's the biggest problem that this gives them an opportunity for. You know, for them to care about other bronies, I guess. Has it's been another community. community. About it fourteen has year old been girls homogenized. <laughs> Odd. <laughs> Damn. Again, folks, the views of Dr. Dark Side <laughs> don't represent the views of the entire ship. We're going to wrap it up there. Let's just say that there are good points and bad Send points in all your that, right? To <laughs> lots of bad points. At, at fuck DRD. At fuck hate mail. <laughs> We need to create that uh, email address now. DRD on Twitter, folks. Fuck generalised hate. Is it DRD or Dr. Darkseid on Twitter? What's your Twitter? Tell me something. Redacted me. at Delete this right point. <laughs> Redacted. You can find them all at Fuck Chronicles, folks. <laughs> yeah. Or you can on, leave, a, me, leave hate a, a hate comment. Hate me, bitches. Come on. Oh, Bring God. on. Bring don't, on. Don't, in wrath. don't engage the wrath of the Brony Army. Yes. Yeah, yeah I'll take them. I'll take them all. <laughs> <laughs> So this my, has been a semi-educational yeah. and uh, <laughs> well propaganda from dark side ish anti clopper yeah anti clopper yes clopper clopper will be broadcast so, unfortunately brought to you from the Fort Chronicle so <laughs> uh, just just to trigger dark side a little more oh God, you know no. go and stroke that unicorn horn and blast a shiny rainbow all over that like button <laughs> that's it right in the like button. With a unicorn horn. Clopper <laughs> all over that like button, folks. <laughs> and join us on the road to 10 subscribers. Or less. If there's, <laughs> any, if there's any intelligent life forms out there, leave us a message. Le- leave Darkseid a message. <laughs> yeah, because that's the only person who's going to get them today. 
ending communications, and reason shields <laughs> <laughs> for oncoming rainbow blasts. <laughs> Close communications. You fucking <laughs> salty <laughs> unicorn hating fuck. <laughs>